Chip Wade is the CEO of Union Square Hospitality Group, which owns a bunch of marquee restaurants in New York City. Our guest host, Surat Sethi, of course, is still with us as well. Chip, thank you so much for joining us. You know, we were speaking earlier in the show about the state of the consumer and uh, where exactly consumers are right now when it comes to being able to still do things like eating out, even in the face of still high inflation, albeit the rate of inflation has come back. What's your viewpoint on what consumers are willing to pay for right now? Well, uh, first of all, thanks. I'm delighted to be here, right? The consumers are, um, I think, encouraged. For us, we see demand is very, very strong. Our traffic is up. And so we're excited about the trends that are happening here in New York. Um, New Yorkers are remarkably resilient. And so while they are certainly sensitive to inflationary uh, increases in commodity costs as well as labor costs, that has not slowed them down materially from dining at our restaurants. Are you seeing consumers making any trade downs when it comes to any of the restaurants within your portfolio, perhaps, or even the menu items that they're choosing when they are eating out of their homes? Yeah, I would say we, we're seeing a couple of things. From uh, number one, we're seeing consumers dine a bit earlier um, versus the pre-pandemic, right? And so we are seeing traffic up significantly before, between four and six. That six o'clock hour um, is now vibrant and alive and it was the old 7.30 or eight o'clock. <laughs> With regard to your question, yes, I think the consumers are making different choices. Um, maybe instead of a full bottle of wine, they're getting a, a, a glass of wine um, and then just being more strategic with their choices. So six is the new eight. Why why are people doing that? Is it is it because they want to get home sooner or because they're not chained to their desks until six o'clock and then want a 730 table? What is it? We think it's really this new uh, workforce dynamic, right? The, the idea that people are working from home. Um, certainly that is happening more on Fridays and Mondays. We're, we believe that because there's no boss around the corner, that they may be shutting down their computers at 4.30 and then heading out um, to our restaurants and other restaurants here in New York. So uh, and, are, are your Friday, you just said something very interesting. Diners are going earlier. Yes. Are your Friday evenings less busy because people aren't in the city and or maybe getting away uh, to go either to their weekend house or just go to their home uh, and yes. stay there? The answer to that is yes, right? But that is now our Thursday business is significantly busier. Um, the Thursday is the new Friday for us at uh -huh. USC. Yeah. Chip, when, when you look at um, the changes that happened during COVID, are you seeing more uh, delivery? Are you seeing people ordering and picking up? Has that moved? Has that changed for you? And kind of how does that affect your business? Sure, it's moved up significantly. We have a brand here in New York called Daily Provisions. We have four of those locations. It's a fine, casual, uh, three-part restaurant. And so catering as well as to go and pick up is up in excess of 25%. Yeah, we go to Daily Provisions all the time. Those breakfast sandwiches, oh my gosh, they're so good. If you haven't had one, you got to try it. But um, I do want to ask you, Chip, about inflation when it comes to running the business. We talked about consumers, but what are you dealing with right now when it comes to the cost that you're facing? Sure. First and foremost, uh, labor costs continues to escalate. Um, and uh, there's a number of factors that are contributing that. But we have not seen a material reduction in labor costs the way that we have in commodity and food costs. The second area with regard to inflation is the cost to build new restaurants. Um, the general contractor costs, their labor, um, just the cost to get equipment um, is significantly higher, uh, again, than the pre-pandemic period. 